In this video, we're going to cover an additional method for generating tables using PHP. The great thing about this method is that it will work regardless of the query that we have. It will generate the table headers and the table cells, and it doesn't matter how many rows there are, etc. So let's walk through this method. So the first thing we're going to do is declare variables. So we have a columns variable and a data variable that are going to be arrays. Arrays means a list of values. So right now I'm just defining these defaults. Notice how one equals the other. Basically, this is a quick way of defining two variables to be a blank array. The same thing goes with these next two headers and data rows. I'm setting them equal to each other, which is then equal to blank. The next step is to get the column names. So instead of a for each loop, we're going to use a for loop. So prior to this syntax, we have already created the query as we previously discussed. So what I'm going to do here is have a for loop, which is different than the for each loop because I specify what the minimum number, what I'm going to start with, and the maximum number. So I'm going to start with zero. So i equals zero. What's going to happen is it's going to loop through this until i has broken this condition. So keep looping through as long as i is less than the total number of columns that have been counted in the query that we ran previously. So for each column, it's going to loop through. It's going to increase i. If i ever exceeds this condition, then it will break out of this loop. What I'm going to then do here is get the column. To get the column used in PHP, I say statement dash greater than get column meta for the specific index. So this index is the i, and that's why we are counting that. So then we get the column name, the name of this specific column, and we're going to add that to the columns array. So this columns array is now going to have a list of all the columns that exist inside of our query. The next thing is we're going to get the query data. So here's our for each loop again. We're going to say for each statement as row. What I'm going to do is just add each one of these rows to the data array that I previously defined up here. So to do that, I just say dollar sign data, open, close, square, brackets, and this will add it to that array. Then I'm going to create each one of our header cells. So for each columns, this is the columns array that we created. For each columns, as columns, so I'm going to grab each column and loop through and do the following. So I'm going to add to our headers variable, which we've defined up here, I'm going to add the table header cell and the name of the column to that cell. Then I'm going to create each data row. So I'm going to loop through the data as rows. So again, we had all our rows here. So I'm going to loop through each one of those. And then we have the data rows are going to start with a table row. We're going to loop through each one of the columns that we had previously defined. And we will, for each one of those columns, we will add a cell that is a combination of the row uh, that we are looping through and the name of the column based on the columns that we have identified. So essentially, we're going to add each one of those cells for that specific column. We'll add that to the data rows. We will then finally close our table row. So again, we'll start with our table row, add all our table cells, then close the table row. We will then create our table. We will then add all the headers that we previously defined up here to this table row. We will then add all the data rows that we've created right here, and that should automatically generate the table for us to display in HTML. 